Do I need to do this right now? I'll just start here. And then... I'll jump into doing the loyalty mission for Zaid. The person who I've never put in my party. But also, why is there another gap in my party member list? There has to be a reason for that. And I want to make sure that I don't miss it. Boat launched. Boat launched. Boat launched. Yeah, I don't need palladium. I don't know why I'm still trying to go after it. Launching probe. Probe launched. Away. I you know I need some mindless probing. Probe away. The last 24 hours have been quite a mental struggle for me, to say the least. You know, just when I thought everything was going okay, you know, I had to deal with some other bullshit. Hi, Morty. Probe launched. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, you saw all my tweets on my private. Launching probe. It's a whole ordeal, and I, you know. I wanted to tell somebody about it, but I've already done enough bitching. I gotta just cut this dude off and just go off on my own. Like, gotta let him be his his crazy white self who won't listen to a man who has plenty of experience dealing with interpersonal relationships. You know if you saw all of them? A lot of them are pretty vague, and I don't go into a lot of detail. 
Move away. Mostly because it's more enjoyable if I were to tell my troubles Move away. in person or one on one. You know, I really want to go and hit up. One of the homegirls who's like, yeah, I'm gonna go beat that fucker up. Cause then you know, I'd be like, yeah, he, he doesn't deserve a damn thing. That's for damn sure. Oops. But yeah, it really did put me in the mood to, to go and fuck shit up at the gym today. I had a very large breakfast. I don't feel like doing this right now. Which makes me want to move some of the calories from my breakfast to my lunch. But even still, I don't like having a heavy lunch when it comes to... streaming. I don't want to feel super heavy. What is this tiny little baby planet? Bertha's here. Hi, Bertie. I gotta scan this baby planet. Well launched. Won't let you move. You're stuck watching my stream. How's your body? Launching Did you probe. apply some itch cream wherever the mosquitoes got you earlier today? Launched. Is it cool enough where you could wear some long sleeve or are the mosquitoes vicious enough that they'll bite through the clothes? You did some alcohol and it helps, but you'll be itching a lot later. That sucks. Launching probe. On Fire Island, I got eaten up. It was rude. It was very rude. Launching All over my ankles. I got a bite on my ass. Was not the bee's knees. You normally Launching wear probe. leggings and sleeves, but you wore shorts today and you didn't spray yourself like a dummy. Not a dummy, just lazy. I'm lazy doesn't mean I'm dumb. It just means that away. I will work smarter so I can do less work. That's what that means. Launching that home. meant that in order for me to, to get my near 4.0 average in high school, and I'm talking about 15 years ago, or more. I was doing a lot of Launched. trying to get A minuses in every class because they didn't do grades on like a hundred point scale, and A minus was a 4 0. Launched. And like, my magnet program was not easy. Did I recruit Tally? Yes. There's another person that's empty on my list of party members. And I don't know how to get that person and hopefully it's obvious. Otherwise, I will be very upset if I finish this game without that extra person. Launching probe. So TJ knows about all my drama with that one guy. I I won't accidentally miss it. Good. Probe launched. It made my lift very aggressive. It made my eating quite aggressive. I get to now 
do the the mind balancing act of cutting this dude out my life once again. Oh, another tiny planet? What is it with this place having tiny planets? You know, I really wasn't trying to start the stream with like 15 minutes of scanning, but here we are. Doing the most. It's so unnecessary too. And he tried to soften the blow by lying to me, saying that he unfriended me on all my social media, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, because his boyfriend got jealous of me. What is there to be jealous of? I don't get it. It's just extreme insecurity. And it wasn't just unfriending because that, when, when he followed me back, I had to follow him again, which meant that he blocked me on Twitter. He blocked me on Instagram. Launching probe. And then he didn't even send me a friend request back on Facebook, so I'm just not gonna. I took him off of read receipts. He's not getting read receipts from me anymore. Launching probe. How fucking old are we to still be doing this? He's 26. Not even 26, 25. I was not doing bullshit like this when I was 25. Launching probe. How the fuck are you gonna ghost me as a friend? And then go on to like text me when you're drunk saying, oh, I miss talking to you. I'm like, yeah, bitch, because we were good friends for years. And then you just stop talking to me? Probe launched. Probe Hit him with the side eye Chloe picture anytime he messages me. No, I'm gonna leave his ass on red. This bulk that I'm gonna do is gonna be extremely amazing, fabulous, and he doesn't get to have any of it. Probe away. Leave him on delivered? No. He doesn't deserve like any little courtesy that Probe I give away. other people. You know, it's like quite the opposite. Away. Maybe it's a clout thing? I don't fucking know. But like, just because you have a screenshot of me on your phone doesn't mean you're fucking me. And that made his boyfriend jealous. And his boyfriend forced him to block me on all social media and then tries to walk that shit back? You can't walk that shit back when you walk when you block me. It's not like I'm fucking dumb. I know this shit. I know how technology works. Fuck out of here. Zoria, mud, sweat, and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant life and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and zust, Rust, Zoria attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering game. Like, you're kowtowing to a boyfriend to block someone that has been your friend for the last 3-4 years? He's manipulating you, he's gaslighting you, all for what? Some validation because he has a six pack? 
get, get it. Get it into your tiny little fucking smooth brain. Uh, I'm forced to have this fucker. Should I bring Tali back? I need Tali. But who is this person? The second from the left. Also, one of the great unsolved mysteries of Mass Effect is why that sun is dying early that would cook my shields and never gets explained. Will they explain it in Mass Effect 3? Oh, she has another appearance? Hold up. I like this one. Cool, I can't upgrade fucking anything! I hate this guy. Hello, Mushlin. I don't really do picnics, but I'm just here. You can't wait to see Jack? Oh, Jack, I'll bring Jack out later, but I'm doing some loyalty missions for this guy that I don't really like. Don't like him at all. Well, you acted like an ass to two guys this weekend, so you should probably start drinking less and here you about to crack a bottle of bubbles. Look. Oh, when you get to Mass Effect 2. I, I found it interesting that you started with Mass Effect 2. What should we do for her? Mechanic or engineer? I'd rather have her power on for much longer. Hi, Ricky Kev. Welcome. You just missed my giant rant about... I guess now an ex-friend. <laughs> AI hacking? Combat drone. I have a combat drone. I feel like everyone at least likes snacks. I like snacks too. I'm trying to be a snack. See, this, this dude's face, his like crazy eyeball, is like specifically why I don't like this person. Also, what heavy weapon do I want? Arc projector, it is today. Back in the day, your friend said it's better to play Mass Effect 1 because it was hot garbage, but the Legendary Edition seems to not be bad at all, so you're restarting. It's the weapon system and the upgrade system and all the little tiny things that they do. And Mass Effect 2 does a, a lot better job of wrapping those ends up, but I really hated managing and doing all the menu stuff. Also, Mass Effect 1 took me a long time to get used to the style of game, and I didn't really like it at first but it has grown on me towards the end when I got to fuck people up. You wish they would have done something about upgrades in the remake? The combat's much slower too, yeah. Liberate the Don't refinery. The sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Dude, stop moving. Whoa. Oh. Look at his ugly face. I can't even track his face because he keeps fucking moving! Oh, it's because... it's because... It's because I'm aiming that way, so he's getting out of my way. Hi, birds. Squad Bravo! A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Hi, Tali. I love you. Shot in the back and left to rot. God, this is too close. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. This looks like my shepherd, which is like bigger lips. Can we at least do them a favor and close their eyes? 
a monkey. Monkey, follow the monkeys. Oh look, it changes color. Command to Bravo, take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. In college, I took a 3D graphics class and it was an introductory course and we had to create We had to take a file that defined a whole bunch of faces and vertices and whatnot, and it took the form of a teapot. It's very famous in 3D graphics, the Utah, the University of Utah teapot. It's a pretty standard object for tests. And I did this assignment and we got to do the teapot and then we got to make it change colors as extra credit. I did all the extra credit for that class. I loved that class more than I should have. And I showed my friends that I made a teapot that changes colors and basically the whole weekend we were just like, my teapot changes colors. Report to base! Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint! Eat ass. You can't wait to open this bottle now, will you judge me? You're gonna wait for Bachelor in Paradise, but you want something to drink now? I do not judge you because who's not drinking during my stream? Oh my god, I suck at aiming. Oh dude, the fuck man? All right, who's next? Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. What's that sound? You have an edible on deck for later because it's a three hour episode. Are you going to like be able to pay attention to anything in the game? I mean, the, the show? Oh, no, a dog. You're going to be my friend now. Yep, because I have a sniper rifle now. Look, the last couple of times I did edibles, I was mad fucked up in Fire Island. Extremely fucked up. Probably as much as you normally do, which is why you watch the stuff, it's entertaining and you tune out the storylines. Honestly, probably the only reason why I would watch that stuff is to look at the men. So I'd rather just get screenshots or a summary of any of that drama. I'm having much of my own drama now. You know, the reason why yesterday I brought up like, oh, I thought I'm reconciling my friendship. It's because it popped up on my phone and I saw a notification that he followed me on Twitter. And I have like three accounts on Twitter. So I was like, oh, is it, did he follow my Thirst account? We know the answer to that is no, he did it. This is Commander There's some cuties this season. I just follow you along with your now tweets. Get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah. So why did we have a past? This guy leave the Blue Suns when he was like a fugitive on Il not Ilium Omega, and he's just standing there shooting some like little worm boy. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. 
Tali's just chilling. Doesn't give a fuck about this drama. You just like to talk shit because the show's ridiculous, but if you're entertaining, that's okay. That's really all that matters. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. Wait, that sounds years, like BDSM. I'm kind of into every it. Every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I everybody at my shot. Fire Island house Don't last week had to not had grudge. to, but we voluntarily took the old school BDSM test, and it turns out voyeur and exhibitionists is at the top of my list. You survived a gunshot to the head. Yeah. And you survived your that explains a lot to why I don't like this guy because his brain got fucked up because he got shot in the head. Rage is he probably lost his frontal lobe and it just made him like an entire dick. We'd better get moving. Did the other side of the bridge come in? Oh, we have to press the button. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse now. They know we're here. I mean, I did have a little bit of like. Semi-voyeur exhibitionist at the gym today. I went and took a video of myself after my gym workout and a guy walked out of the showers and he was full on cruising. And so he had a semi under his towel and they're not doing towel service at the gym right now. So he brought his own towel to shower to then like not like sneak in but he got in at the end of my video and he has like pretty like big muscles tiny legs big muscles and his fat cock was just like out and he was just stroking his fat dick and i had i had a choice to look or not look but i knew he was like this type of dude and i was just i just looked at it I didn't turn around and look at it. I looked at it through the mirror, the reflection in the mirror. When will my reflection show? Who will be inside me? Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito's kind of hot. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted over. I mean, he has Burn one eye. His depth perception just doesn't exist. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. You're a dumb cunt. Didn't think that there were pipes behind you so you go into the pipes what the hell are you doing you're gonna blow this fucking place up that story did not go where you thought it was going to yeah no i i did not go walk towards him and jerk him off and oh, suck him off in day. the in the gym showers because that is really not Next my time thing you're gonna blow something up i want to know about it first Vito was confident had a lot of men now he's lost but I did just advantage. like open up grinder wanting up to pressure, no way hook up out of here alive. but I took care of myself instead you don't make because I don't have time to do that I have to shower I have to mission. eat Remember I had to get in four I games of Pokemon unite and stream sure all before streaming today. you want him dead then he dies I don't care what else happens as long as Vito swallows a bullet God, I could use a bullet in my throat. They should soften them up. Uh, what do I want to do? One of these. One of these. Boop. Got you. Got him. I got him. Oh, this is fun. I like it when things explode. Neato. More of this. More frame rate crashes. The fuck? You know, maybe I should consider restarting my computer today. Doing stuff in public where you could get caught is thrilling once you get past that. Wow. 
I could go to jail for this. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. I mean, this is a refinery. Peter's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stopped to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Is this gonna fuck me up if I choose loyalty? Because I would rather save some random people, because I don't like Zaid, and I don't really need his loyalty. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I know it's a paragon choice. A mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. You wanna drink with me? You know you're itching to redeem a shotgun? You don't have to ask me, you can just do it. Unless I don't have alcohol, but I have blood lights. Fuck Saeed? Agreed. Save the trap. Oh, I didn't want 15 plus paragon. That fucks up my entire playthrough. Uh, keep exploding, please. I wonder how hacking is like on console. Because it looked very different to me when I was watching Mushlin's stream. Oh, a shotgun, you say? Oh yeah, so last night, when that whole drama went down, I cut my hair. Because I needed to feel better about myself. That was like the first thing I did, therapy-wise, to feel better about myself. The whole venting during my stream, very helpful. And now drinking, I'm just doing everything that I need to get my, my... What was that? To get my zhuzh. Cheers. I love you too, Kayla. We're in close quarters. I don't need a sniper. Ow! No scary. This is like a puzzle area now. Salvage. Can I press that button from here? No. Upstairs! The extinguishing system is upstairs! Who's who's telling me that? I can let them die. You're gonna die? You're gonna die? Well, I mean, the combustion action is going to burn out all the oxygen. Oh, oops. I killed a person because I decided to listen to all of their commentary. 
I mean, they didn't say I had to do it quickly. There's no timer like this is Super Metroid. Well, now what's this? Yes. Yes. Um, I coughed and then started talking, but I said something about should I go down to see if they'll have new dialogue, but it won't let me backtrack. Oh, they're right here. Ah, uh, yes. This is like saving the animals in Super Metroid. I saved the animals, guys. I only knew about Save the Animals is because I watched a speedrun of Super Metroid for like a GDQ. This is valuable. What is this? A flamethrower? I don't want a flamethrower. And a refinery that's on fire? Is that such a great idea, Shepard? Fucker. It sounds like he got off. I don't like that door. Mostly because it says my objective is over here. I'm very confused. And this just like loops around. What is this? All right, that's where I'm supposed to go, but the game is confused. Ooh. God, I missed. Um, I should go hide somewhere before I die. Hide, bitch! Oh my fucking god. Whatever. There's like guts here. You want to take my what? I don't like this. Too much spray. Should I burn them? For fun? Does this go far? I don't like it. Oops, I missed. Can I shoot through walls? Okay, now we can do this. Battle rifle. I don't like the hand cannon. Switch up. I really don't like that weapon. I mean, I prefer accuracy over everything. You know, I could have jumped over that thing and I just didn't. Field tanks coming loose, shoot it down. Over where? Got you. Like this? Ah! 
Dude, you just set your fucking self on fire, dumbass. Oh, uh, he's dead now. Cool. Dumbass. So that menu, once I change guns, uh, it's like, doesn't let me change back if I selected the wrong gun. It's really kind of dumb. Hi, Tali. I mean, you guys are burning yourself. Want some fun? Are they dead? <laughs> Does it even do anything? Heavy weapon, get down. What is this thing back here? Can I take it for myself? A shield mech. It has armor, can I blow it up? Everything. Oh, you're dead, bitch. Get down, now. What do you mean, get down? There are two sides! There's a lot of doors here, you guys. But which door do I choose? I'll go in the one that's not marked objective. What's the point of this? It's just like a side room with water. God damn it. this man What is that? You just cost me 20 years of my life. Kill him. Yes! Ah, son of a bitch. You deserve ah. that, cunt. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah. Screw you. Now come on. Get me out of this shit hole. I don't want you on my ship. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. No! I don't have enough Paragon to leave his ass here. I'm sad.
You're a madman, Zaid. But I need a certain amount of crazy if I'm gonna stop the Reapers. Uh, it sounded like two different that voice out lines. Before you let Vito get away, let's get the hell out of here. Push him off the ship. Maybe I get another chance to ditch him? I doubt it. It's a new heavy weapon. I'll take it. Um, uh, don't use them enough for that. Negotiation bonus, storm speed, tech, biotic power damage. Thing is, I don't like how it looks. I don't remember where Tali sits. So is engineering? Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. That M20 cane is super powerful, but you have to have full ammo, basically. Is it like one shot? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. Yeah, this feels My suspicious. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they can- She me, did all that I work to go, go on her fucking pilgrimage, and they're gonna try to exile her? So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. And here we are in the in United exile, States, just still have imprisoning children, everybody. And children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. 
the most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer I guess the United States is doing both defense schematics to the Batarians. Imprisonment she had and deportation. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned. You're about to run out of money anyways? Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend or myself. Or the United States is about to run Eventually, out of money. if I don't show up, God, yeah, whatever. in absentia. As for how it works, Stop being pussies and just like... It's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Be a majority. We are a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for book you to Book passage help. on a ship? Thank you, Oh, Sean. wow. Alexander Hamilton. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Kasumi, your turn. What's up, bitch? Um, I mean, where is the mass relay? Kasumi's is good. Good. Das ist gut. Do they put the mass relays always on this first quadrant? God, I can't read. Why the fuck is this so far away? Am I gonna have enough fuel to get there and go back? There's not even a fuel depot there. I'll have enough fuel to go back. Beckenstein. The recipient of the first wave of Earth's colonization efforts, Beckenstein's founders had a decidedly less agrarian plan than Eden Prime. The mission of Beckenstein's first colony was to become Earth's off-planet manufacturing base, into ingratiating humanity into galactic culture by producing needed goods. Meeting with mixed success for the first generation, Beckenstein then leapfrogged its competition by producing high-quality luxury goods that went straight to nearby markets via the Citadel. Today, Beckenstein is known as the Human's Ilium, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth, and the have-nots are rarely spoken of. I can still scan this place? It's depleted. Fuck it. I finally have points. I love my combat drone. I will save my points for later. Only Kasumi? Ooh. Let's do it. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. Who? I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, Did witnesses, say cock? article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Mr. Cock? Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic. Willing to crack open a man's skull to get Kasumi's model is so excellent. 
I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Oh, so you want to see my Mr. Cock? Now's probably a good time to film huh, the Kasumi? details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bring Ah, great. I'm glad we're invited. To the man himself. Please murder me if I ever cut my facial hair like that man. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. This is weird. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. It's like Ocean's Eleven, but with two then of us. just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. I mean, do you not Was remember all obvious? those paintings KG's that she stole? Box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds Keiji's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... My nudes? All the time we spent together. <laughs> Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me... Your virginity? Me what, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. How badly can I fuck this up? I need her loyalty. She's my favorite. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Solomon Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Shoot him. Is there a problem here? Look how fucking no, goggly his facial hair is! I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. Sir. What? Do I have a small penis? Aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? Ah, oh, Mr. Cock. You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. You know, Enjoy she can just warp in. Well, this one's guaranteed loyalty? Didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good. Because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. I love you. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Oh god, I love her so we much. To find the door and case the security. We'll figure I out feel like I'm playing thing. Hitman and I've never played Hitman before. They really did do a hitman mixed with... How did you ever contain that situation on the hall? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Ocean's oh, goodness, 11 hitman. I rabble would dog you for years. Hello, dude. You look just like me. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? I'm right here. Oh, please. It's wishful thinking. I'm right best. here, guys. See, I can spin. You guys have nothing to say? Huh? God, I can't go upstairs. You know, I don't think this is a great place to have a fireplace next to all these 
flammable books? I don't care if it's a virtual fire. I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. This is a... Uh, a lot. There's a hole downstairs. Does this go to the other side? Or is this to like the dining area? I'll come back. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Where is the vault? I don't want to talk to Donovan Hawk yet. I need to go outside and look at this vista of these... Well... It's just like a moving JPEG. Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large That's where the magic place. happens, huh? <laughs> At, no. You're not allowed to laugh, people. Please do I not laugh. Vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Wait, am I? I'm getting screen tearing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need to figure out why I have screen tearing. My G-Sync is on. My refresh rate is proper. Oh well, I'll just live with it. Private Reams, no way we can sneak out of that party. Place is locked down tight and Security Chief Rose in charge. No way Ro would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around, board on guard duty, and risk her wrath. Chief Sorry, Roma. dude. She sounds like a hard ass. Use the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go downstairs and open up that door. Ah, oh, crystals. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Get your gun, Annie. Password protected voice lock. Kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please. All I need is hemorrhoids to be impenetrable. To. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. Oh, we why? should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. Oh, because he barrier? just like jerks. Cut the power, never fails. If we can find it. That's only haploid. Get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Find Hawk's DNA. Microphone. DNA scanner. Lord have mercy. Kinetic barrier power cable? It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Whoa! Hi? We're gonna open up that vault. Ladies, you're in my way. Don't mind me, some non suspicious activity. There he Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <sighs> yes, that's true. 
I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there peace. always be a market for the things we do. Dude gave up a real big speech and all I did was say Understandable, understandable, this is perfectly understandable. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Wait, don't tell me it's this fucking fireplace. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Bro, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I gotta go DNA scan his balls? On my way! I'm a professional! I know exactly how to despunk his balls. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Just let me through. Turn around now, or I call for backup. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Never mind then. Enjoy the party. There's got to be a way to get in there. Let's look around. Do I talk to that dude at the front? Oh. That I didn't notice just in there. Room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Did you hear? Santiago was attacked in his own base. Who the fuck is Santiago? Maybe? By whom? Zaid Masani of all people. Thankfully, Vito escaped. Oh. Well. Ready fuck Zaid. He has a gun! He has a gun! He has a gun! Nance, I have that problem too. So many passwords around here, I can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. That voice scanner means the password's only useful to Hawk anyways. After this party, wanna grab some beers? Let me know! Samuels, I'm also dead now. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk. Samuels Rowe? Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. I would like some wine, please. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? 
They have access, Samuels. Now stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. In his private bed chambers. These look like butt plugs? Or bongs? Very interesting artwork. I wish I could just push them over and break them all. But this is really quite excessive. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. What? The music changed. Search for DNA in the couch cushion? You think he's jerking it's off clean. in the plant? It's a plant. <laughs> is he jerking off on the... <laughs> Found a sample? No, a credit shit. One credit. Is he jerking off in his pad? Okuda decryption project update. Little progress for to report. We've now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce Produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of gray box technology, it is possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on this box. This sounds like a setup to me. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. You mean he's not jerking off in front of his computer? Um, no DNA, but looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's grip. I mean, if you're trying to find my DNA, it would be right in front of my computer. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Yeah, I'll take his money. Oops. I'll take it. I want to search the bed last. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. He said butt. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. Oh, look at that these birds. Did. Let's get out of here. No, I'm not done searching the room. No, I wanted to hear the dialogue about his bed and what the fuck he does in his bed. Ugh. Fucking wine glass ended it? Let's fuck right here in front of this giant IMAX of a window. God damn it. I went at the dialogue. Yo, you guards sure didn't fucking pay attention to me ravaging his bedroom. Wait, he has a fucking... Wall? Cascading water wall. No wonder people like capitalism. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. So when they scan his DNA, does he just insert his penis? I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. the professional Ah 
Ah, uh, elevators. My favorite feature from Mass Effect 1. Let's see. I mean, let's just see what it looks like, you know? What, the head of the Statue of Liberty is down there? <sighs> so this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This Cock vault? Will hone in on the gray box. Cock it's vault is the name of my asshole. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. It's a gray box, but I want to see the yes. other statues. Impressive. Not sure what it is, though. <laughs> this, okay, if you know MIT, there was lots of black scrap metal sculptures on campus because, you know, 1970s art. The Great Sale, right here. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. Ugh. Queen. I saved her. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. I can't wait to have a fight down here where we just like blow up all of these. This is nice. Statues. It's a uh, sphere. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Not like the Normandy, which just, you know, died on me. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. There it is. There she is! Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. What the fuck? I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you. This you'd is get giving me anyway. Andros vibes from you know me. Star Fox like 64. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open, but you're still going to die screaming. Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. It's one dildo statue. You'll be fine, bro. You have four of them on the way to your bedroom. Yes. Yes. Who's this lady? Oh, that's Chief Rowe. She has lots of shields. Who's shooting at me? I see it. Oh, she dead? Oh yeah, good shit. Here we go. What? That's for the 
Now you see me. Light him up. Why can't I get one shot on this dude with one HP? Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now. That's a Casa Locust. Oh, did I interrupt something? No. The Casa Locust. Is that a gun? One that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. I'm glad I did it that, I guess. The perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. We can use this. Yes. I got a gun. But I feel like I interrupted some, like, very nice dialogue. Oh, well. Locust SMG. That's the thing I picked up. I didn't use the cane thing yet. Chief Fro is dead. She didn't say a damn thing to me. We've been trying. Oh, have we? Are we Gucci? Oh, yes. Can I switch? Yeah, it didn't really hit, though, did it? Ah, she's dead again! Yeah, I see it. I don't know, hide behind your wall, bitch! Are you done shooting, bro? Alright, cool, dude. Are you done? Take it. Oh, I want it. I want it to be mine. Can I can I keep it? Please, sir, may I have it? You're dumb. Go in. I want to see it. I want to see it. Punch it. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Damn it! We have to find another way. Can we take this car? I'd love to take this car. Is the PDA hack up there? Okay. I kind of have to pee. I'll pee after this mission. No, I'll pee now.
I usually don't have my face cam on all the time, but no, I really am getting some screen tearing. Very not cool. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this penis gun? What is this penis gun? It's a very loud penis gun. Very loud penis gun. Oh, dude, is that necessary, guys? I can barely hear myself think with this loud fucking penis gun over here. You're lucky I have a limiter. I can't believe I have to turn it down on my end. I never have to do that. Wow, this balancing is so bad. Who the fuck did this? Get me out of this fucking place. Okay, but I can't fucking hear myself. That was the most terribly sound mixed area in any game I've ever played in my life. Uh, some bullshit. Nothing legendary about this right now. I don't know, it's not a great place to be right now. <sighs> Nothing, just my team dying. Am I not allowed to shoot from behind this truck or what? Where's that mech?
she dead again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. It exploded on me. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've run out of ammo. They didn't drop any ammo for me? Is that the plant that I took his DNA sample from? Yes! How is this all in his base? Like, what? Yeah, punch her. Oh, I suck. That had to hurt. What does this say down here? Caution? Well, now I need to check all the trucks. This guy was like, yeah, I'm gonna build myself a house on top of my factory. Her. The lighting's terrible. Could have done this the easy way. Allow me to show you the hard way. Kasumi go through. Look left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very bright. Kasumi, you're gonna get hit, baby. Wait, 
Wait, his shields just regened on me. Where did he go? Little pussy. Or am I the pussy? Up ahead. Bitch, where? Taking care of it, Kasumi? Med kit? Where? Oh, he's back? Turn your weapons. Gunship back and with full shields. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. I know, it's probably still gonna come back with full shields, but... Shepard, I need a clear God damn it. Take out these guards. Look right! She just gonna run for it? What do we got, fucking Spider Man? She's fucking Spider Man. Which multiverse is this? She's like, extremely cloaked. She even lands like Spider-Man! God, this is making me horny for her, though. I need a hundred percent. Never mind. La 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 la. Where'd he go? To repair his shit or what? Little pussy. They're coming from the front. Where you at, fucking pussy? Oh shit. Oh shit. Pussy? Going silent. Come here, bitch. Yeah, fuck him up, sis. Anyways. 
Eat ass. Let's get out of here. Uh, wow, my armor is very good. How do I get on my boat? we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Ooh. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, the one on the upper left is the one that cracks me up the most. Ha! <sighs> is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. Well, because I love Kasumi, I'm going Paragon. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Is she gonna go, like, furiously masturbate to the gray box now? Is this new outfit, like, her sex outfit? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. What the hell? What kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had that gun on that Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard, and I'll kill it. any Cerberus team I can find if I run into you. Don't expect anything different. Who the fuck is this dude? Tombs? Who the fuck is Tombs? Let me upgrade you.
what do I need for this? Heavy pistol damage, shotgun damage, sniper rifle damage. Chitlins. All right, everyone, I'm done here for today. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with more Mass Effect 2, more loyalty missions. We'll probably do Garrus next, and I'll figure out which one I do after that. But thank you guys for stopping by today, and thank you for letting me vent and making sure that I have a little bit of a beverage today and giving me an opportunity to think about something else other than my life. And after this, I'll be having the chicken that I cooked last night and some of the brown rice, and I'll probably cook an egg because a whole cup of brown rice, way too much for me to eat. I learned that last night. Need some variety. Need some yolk because that brown rice got dry real fast. And after dinner, I'll probably play some Pokemon Unite. So if you're in my Pokemon Unite channel, watch out for that. Otherwise, you can send me a message on Twitter if you'd like to play in a couple of hours. Have a good night. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And I'm a bad bitch. Fuck the bitch other tunes from Nicki Minaj. Good night. Back tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern to Wednesday. I'm sleeping in. <laughs>